Hello again, kings, queens, and in-betweens. Welcome back to WWE 2K23, my GM Hall of Fame challenge. I am your host, the jovial jester, Kane Drago. <coughs> uh, I just skipped through the emails while I was because I wanted to look around at some stuff and decided not to bother exiting and coming back for it. Uh, we got two emails. Mace doesn't want to fight Mysterio, so we'll have to figure out a plan for that. Uh, actually, I have a plan for that, uh, I think. Uh, and, uh, the other one was Butch somehow, despite being in a five-star pay-per-view semi-main event, uh, is all mad about his contract and wanted a hundred K bonus, which I gave him because yeah, I just felt like keeping him. Uh, that's all you missed. Oh yeah. And the two GMs that aren't Mick Foley prop gave us props for a really good pay-per-view. So. Here we go. First things first. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, so in the main event. Actually, yeah, uh, yeah, in the main event. <coughs> we are going to go Bad Bunny. Versus Gunther for the title. Rivalry on cooldown. But. But. We're going to have some interference. Or not interference. We're going to play a card. Also, I'm going to buy this real steel cage, cage match card. Might as well buy the health spa one. It's not expensive. And yeah, you know what? I'm going to buy that and actually boost everyone's morale right now. Oh, wait, that's one person? Oh, I thought that was everyone. It used to be everyone. All right, well, let's boost yours then. We're also going to play a special promotion card. Uh, fix match is what I was looking for. We are going to fix Bad Bunny to definitely win the championship. Hopefully, unless it's a DQ. Uh, then, in the opening match, we are going to have a men's tag team title match because we still have a rivalry we need to get rid of. Oh, no, we're not because he's still injured. I suppose there's an injury rehab card, is there? No. Oh, yes, there is, actually. There we go. Go away with your stupid injuries. Now I can book the match I want to book. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Idols on the line. Uh, then... We are going to book. Uh, then I think I'm going to have to hire people. Is what I'm going to have to have. And I didn't end up getting any female specialists. I just realized. Uh, gender, please. Uh, do, do, do. We need a heel bruiser. And there isn't one. There's probably not one in the Legends either. Because they're all ba almost all baby faces, except for Lita, who's the wrong one. Grr. Alright, free agents. We're going to go with what's available to us. And we're going to go... Heal Specialist. Bring back Donna Matrix, who I think we've had before. And yeah, that's what we can do. Uh, so we're going to have Cora Jade. Well, you know what we could do, actually? 
Let's do a tag team feud first. To build ever build the 48 and especially the 15 popularity up. We just won't focus on the singles title right now. That's okay. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is I'm also going to hire more people. Uh, specifically, I'm going to hire... Uh, let's go... Joel Wheeler, because he's five on the mic. Karen Compactor's three on the mic. And... Whitney Quaid, who's five on the mic. And they're going to do a bunch of advertising promos. Why? Because I need to do eight of them to get towards one of my season trophies. And I want that season trophy. Because I am trying to... I am doing some weird wonky stuff this season because I'm trying to wrap this playthrough up so we can start a fresh one where I'm not obviously going to win, but you know, made a promise I would finish it. So, here we go. Uh, do, do, do. We've fulfilled three promises so far. Oh yes, I need to do more interference. <laughs> I can't check the progress on this. I wish I could. And I forgot to write down. I'll have to do it in editing today when I go to edit these videos. Uh, not charity. Advertising. Get out of here. Karen Compactor with the dumpy. Showing off that dumpy. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, actually, Lita could be good still because I need a women's tag title feud. All right, let's grab Lita. Boom. There we go. And, and I'm going to have to splice this together slightly, but we'll be back later. Hello, folks. We are back. Uh, a little bit of a jump cut there. I didn't do anything except for switch screens to move some stuff around. Uh, I just had it on here when we left last. Sorry about that. I don't usually break my recordings, but I ended up, uh, my wife got home, uh, from grocery shopping with her, with my father-in-law, uh, about half an hour earlier than I thought. So I thought I was gonna have time to finish a whole recording and I didn't. That's okay though. Uh, we're ready to go now. I decided to move these two because even though they don't have a rivalry and they're more popular, they're also on cooldown and this is double giant, double cruiser. So I think it'll work out okay. So we are going to uh, continue and see how this goes. Ezekiel and LA Knight for continuing their rivalry with Logan Paul and MVP. MVP and Logan Paul retain. Three and a half stars grows to level three. Advertising promo. Thank you for the money I don't really need. I'm just doing it for the trophy. Xia Li and Cora Jade versus Shayna and Donna Matrix. Cora Jade and Xia Li win, two and a half stars. No rivalry. Thank you for the uh, money that I don't need. <coughs> Bad Bunny and Gunther. Bad Bunny's going to win the title here, which is what we wanted. Three and a half stars. Aaron Compactor, thank you. Don't care. Just wanted the credit for having done them. Dewdrop and Bertha Faye versus Lita and Shotzi in the main event. Bertha Faye and Dewdrop retain three and a half as well, so they actually tied, so it didn't matter what order I put them in, as it turns out. 
Oops, forget. I keep forgetting that the 1.08 update changed the order of those around, which again, I actually like in the long run. I'm just trying to remember to get used to it. Good booking. Three and a half, two and a half, three and a half, three and a half. <coughs> 56,000 fans because we played the uh, retention card to earn 77,000 profit. 30,000. 58,000 because they also played one. And 32,000. Fans tier two, we have reached five and a half million. We got a GM trophy that gets us seven. Free special effects booking. Let's go on to the next show. We are three weeks from Survivor Series. Hey, I feel like I'm the fall guy every week. You j you had one match. What is that? Bad Bunny a lot. We should team up for a tag match. Sure, we can do that. Maybe. Ensure your least popular available bruiser is in a match this week. I don't really care about that. Although I uh, promised that his next fight wouldn't be against Rey Mysterio. Well, good thing it's not. Because as of right now, in the main event of the show, it is going to be Bad Bunny versus Marseille for the championship. Then we are going to, in the opening match... Do Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Gunther for the uh, for the men for the North American title. Then we are going to do a tag team match between uh, between whom? Probably a men's tag team title match, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. And then we're going to do... Um, you know what? Actually, if they're already level three, let's just give them... Or no, Bad Bunny's already in a match. So yeah, for this week... We will do our men's tag team title feud. And then we'll do... Um, yeah, let's do the women's tag again. Um, let's do Bertha Faye versus... No, actually, let's do a singles match. We've done tables, extreme rules. Let's do a TLC match between Zia Lee and Donna Matrix, just because. <laughs> we'll do an advertising promo with Karen Compactor. We'll do an advertising promo with Whitney Quaid. And we'll do an advertising promo with Joel Wheeler. Because that's what I hired them for. Was to do eight of those as quick as I could. Book the big stadium. Book the, sta book the crew. Actually, I'll book that crew. Book that. Book that. And we're going to grab that. We're going to grab the submission. We're going to grab the TLC for the pay-per-view. One, two, three, four special ones for the pay-per-view, which is good. Uh, then we're going to go Stamina. And Shotzi's going to get a, a level 3 health spa. And then we're going to go Stamina. Birth of Faye's going to get a level 1. That's the best I got for her. She's also 10 points higher to start. Uh, we're going to finish that at the pay-per-view. 
Oh, book eight shows with an advertising promo. Okay. So hold the phone then. We do not need to do this the whole time. <coughs> In that case, what we'll do is I'm actually going to do... that move that to the main event we're gonna do a tag team match bad bunny butch versus chad gable and joel wheeler do a call out promo with Marseille on you just to hope it works it probably won't and we'll do a self promo for Cora Jade no we'll do a self promo for Lita that looks good let's go with that well, that should be a decent show. And if it's not, well, that's okay. We're winning by a mile. Now, uh, Gunther regains the North American title in a four-star match to start a rivalry of level, at level one. Thank you for your efforts, Karen Compactor. We don't care. Butch and Bad Bunny versus Chad Gable and Joe Wheeler. And the heels win in a two-and-a-half-star match, which honestly isn't that bad for that. Embarrassing promo, <laughs> but it did grow to level one. Zion Lee versus Donna Matrix in a, a TLC match just because. Three star match. Lita with an excellent promo. Thank you. And in the main event for the tag team titles, LA Knight and Ezekiel regain the titles from Logan Paul and MVP in a four star match that grows out to level four in time for Survivor Series. We're doing well. We got one more show to do. Amazing booking. Excellent. 20,000 plus some money. 31,000. 39,000. And 34 for WCW. We are still firmly in first place, both in fans, uh, budget by a mile, and also trophies. <coughs> we got one more show this episode. Butch is very happy now. Uh, hey boss, I have a proposition for you. You want me to do a GM interference? Well, since I have to do more of those for my trophies this season anyway, sure. Do not book your most popular giant. I don't really care about that. Uh, season trophies. Uh, resolve five rivalries. We're on our way to book eight shows with an advertising promo. Book a show with one of each of the match rules. Fulfill five promises. Five GM interference. Well, we're going to do a second one of those. All right, now. So, in the mid card, we are going to have. Bertha Bay against Lita with some interference from yours truly. Now remember with GM interference you don't you want to put it on the person you want to help. It's backwards from the normal interference. So now we're going to do these two for the title. And in the opener, we're going to have a women's tag team match. Oh, Zia Lee and Cora Jade versus the Lady Folk. 
Excuse me. <clears throat> Donna Matrix has pretty low stamina. She's at 48. That's okay. Take a little drink there because I started coughing. Hope that helps a little bit. Uh, so we'll put you in a tag team match. Then in the second mid card, we're going to do Whitney Quaid versus Karen Compactor uh, in a We did Last Man Standing. We did Iron Man. We did Falls Count Anywhere. Submission we're going to do at the pay-per-view. Cage we're going to do at the pay-per-view. I think we did Hell in a Cell. We did TLC. We're going to do a backstage brawl. Just because. Advertising promo. For Joel Wheeler. And we're going to do a call-out promo. Ray Mysterio to Gunther. And we're going to do a self promo. Or uh, MVP. Go logistics. Do that one. That one. That one. Grab a backstage brawler card for the probably the pay-per-view. Grab a fixed match card in case we need it. All right. I think we're good for this one. Yeah. We're good for this one. Cora Jade, Zia Lee, Shayna Baszler, Donna Matrix. The heels get the win. It finally starts a rivalry, but it's only two and a half stars. That could be a problem. Excellent promo. He actually lost no popularity from that. With GM interference, Bertha Faye versus Lita. Lita gets the win. Three and a half stars. It was actually way better than the opener. <laughs> Whoops. Excellent promo. Level two rivalry. Backstage brawl just to fill out requirements. Whitney Quaid wins. Mediocre match and starts a rivalry I don't care about. Excellent promo for MVP. And Bad Bunny versus Masse. Bad Bunny retains in a four-star match that does not start a rivalry. Grr. How dare you. Poor opening. I know. All right, so 14,000. I knew the shows were going to suffer a little bit. 26,000 for SmackDown, 19 for Raw, and 37 for uh, WCW. Free advertising booking. That was the commissioner goal. To the moon for making another superstar very happy, which is awesome. Uh, so that's it for this episode, folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Kings, Queens, Inbetweens, as always. Give a like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm. I am the Jovial Jester, Kane Drago. We'll see you next time. Peace out.